everyone, welcome back to the kitchen and today I have an awesome idea for a holiday table dessert. This is what I'm calling pumpkin crunch cobbler. It's very similar to a dump cake, but I really hate that name. And it's like cus pumpkin custard on the bottom, like a pumpkin pie, and this delicious, crispy, crunchy topping, like an apple crisp. And what's not to like about that? I hope that you'll stick around because I can't wait to share with you how this all comes together. Today we're gonna make a really easy pumpkin cobbler. This thing goes together super fast. You can make this in a moment's notice. If you have a couple of hours before you're unexpectedly invited to an event or maybe you forgot that you agreed to bring dessert somewhere, this is something that you can have in your arsenal for when you have one of those really hectic days. We all have them, especially going into the holiday season. Everyone's gonna love this. You know, we used to call these dump cakes. Personally, I really dislike that name. So I'm calling this a pumpkin cobbler. It's like a cobbler. It's not like a cake, but it uses a cake mix and it's all good. So we're gonna start off with one yellow cake mix. One can of solid packed pumpkin, not pumpkin pie mix only solid packed pumpkin. One can of evaporated milk. One cup of sugar, granulated sugar. You can use brown sugar if you want, it's just gonna change the flavor up just a little bit. Three whole egg. One tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. One stick or eight ounces or half a cup of melted butter. One cup of chopped pecans. That's all that goes in here. Super easy and quick to make. We're gonna start with the filling. The first thing we're gonna do is get the pumpkin in here and we're gonna mix it all up like a pumpkin pie. Then we're gonna crack our, actually we'll put our sugar in. The butter and the nuts and the cake mix go on the topping. We'll go ahead and get our eggs in here. Pumpkin pie spice goes right on in and the evaporated milk. You can already see how simple this is. We're mixing up a pumpkin custard like you would for a pumpkin pie. Can't live without my handy stir. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in grabbing one of these. I mean, grab one or two or three of them because with the holidays coming, you can never have too many. I'm not joking, but I'll leave a link down below for you. This is how hard it is, right? I have a nine by 13 foil baking pan that has been sprayed on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and pour our custard right on in there. Now we're gonna set this aside just for a second. I'm gonna grab another bowl and we're gonna mix up the topping. Now, the next thing I want you to do is, I like to mix these up a little. So the cake mix and the nuts, just give them a good toss. It's also gonna help you break up any giant lumps of cake mix that you have. I don't like those, that's just me. I'm gonna use my hands, which are ultra clean, and I'm going to sprinkle the cake mix and the nuts right over top of that pumpkin custard. Now the custard looks like it's gonna be super loose, but stick with me here because as this bakes, it's going to do its magic and it's gonna separate and it's gonna turn into a lovely two-layered dessert with a crunchy topping from the cake mix and these nuts and it's gonna be kind of awesome. I have one stick of melted butter. Drizzle this as evenly as you can over the top and you don't even have to mix that up. That's all you have to do. Now we're gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes or until the top is brown and crispy and we'll be back when it's ready to take out. Our pumpkin crunch cobbler is ready to go. This baked for just about an hour. So you wanna check it. If it's a little uneven on the top, you wanna make sure you keep it in there until it's nice and brown all the way across. And now what you wanna do is you want this to cool completely before you serve it. I know that's the hardest part. Nobody likes to wait, but we gotta do it. So we're gonna let this cool. We're gonna serve you up a piece and we're gonna let you see what it looks like. And I'll be back in just a moment. Well, there you have it. Our pumpkin cobbler has cooled enough to serve up. And I have to tell you guys, it looks incredible. Let me show you from the side because you can definitely see how it looks like a pumpkin pie down below. That pumpkin custard has set up and it's absolutely delicious. There's only one more thing that I think it needs because you know, there you have it. So now all that's left is for Rick to taste it. You know guys, he does this for you. Somebody gotta do it. It's true, right? And it's this cobbler topping is nice and um, crunchy. Kind of like a crisp, you know, when you make an apple crisp. That is delicious. Oh, that is good. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Right. That's really good. It's like a pumpkin pie on the bottom. It really is. 
But then buttery crispy on top. It, <laughs> buttery flaky crust. <laughs> <laughs> this is really delicious. Um, the addition of the nuts to the cake mix on the top, it really gives it a different depth of flavor. Uh, I had a lot of the cakes that, you know, the dump cakes, quote unquote, and I'm not a real fan of them because oftentimes that flavor of the uncooked cake mix is overpowering, a little bit salty, a little bit weird to me, but this is really good. And I think it's because the base of the pumpkin custard was so liquidy and that it really absorbed well into the cake mix layer. This is excellent. You guys give this a try. This is gonna be a great option for your Thanksgiving day dinner or any holiday meal. You can make this up to a couple of days in advance. However, you're gonna to need to keep it in the refrigerator after it gets cooled off. You're gonna to wanna to bring this to room temperature before you serve it. I might even suggest putting it in a warm oven while you're eating dinner. That way that crispy crust gets crisped up again because once you put this in the fridge, it's gonna get soggy. So really the best idea is to make this the day you're gonna serve it. Um, if you have two ovens, all the better. But this might not be the best idea as a make ahead. You can make it work, but it's not gonna be as good as if you made it the day you're gonna eat it. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my kitchen and you happened on over looking for Thanksgiving or holiday recipes, welcome. It's always a pleasure to welcome new friends in. Please be sure and hit the subscribe button. And as always, if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button and set your YouTube homepage to your subscription feed so that you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this pumpkin crunch cobbler a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.